Today, I'm going to showcase the top 5 best stretch resolutions that fit low-end PCs or laptops ranging all the way to mid-end slash high-end PCs, which overall will give you a huge FPS boost, give you much lower input delay, and also give you bigger look and player models. Oh, and a lot of these resolutions have been used by the likes of Martos, Peter Bot, Asian Jeff, and many, many more. So if it helps, please drop a like and subscribe for more. Now, let's start off with 800 by 600 this is by far one of the lowest resolutions you can actually use and as you can see it is very pixelated but surprisingly the ui and even the map itself are readable however the greatest thing about this obvious lower quality resolution is the fact the performance gains are huge like it feels really really smooth in game i even seen a guy on youtube called zonix i think he was called reach unreal rank using this specific res that's 800 by 600 and if you check out that video for yourselves which i'll have below you'll see how smooth and how little input there is on this resolution next we've got 1440 by 1080 this was used by martos a few months ago in season og i'd regard this one as one of the best aiming resolutions even though the fov itself is pretty bad but if you watch martos play with this res you can see his aim is godlike i mean it always is but with the play models being slightly like bigger looking on this res that can obviously help slightly next we've got 1680 by 1050 this is a very og stretched resolution a lot of you will remember it i think this boosts your fps by around 20% which is obviously very nice it's actually very very nice if you're on a low-end pc that can make a huge difference but it's one of those resolutions you should try out if you want a bit better aim the quality doesn't look too bad the fob is not too bad and you get an fps boost next we've got the most popular res currently that's 1720 by 1080 right now this resolution has been used by three different godly players the first is peter bot he's been using it now for quite a while the second is martos he does use this on and off i believe and the third is Asian Jeff. I'm pretty sure actually he's using this right now. But there's a good reason for why they're all using it. You'll notice that their mechanics on it are just as good as they would be on native. They can build perfectly. Peter Bot is one that's exceptionally well on this. He can build super, super quick. However, I think there's a greater advantage than mechanics on this resolution. And that is the aiming. With this being a slightly stretched res than native. I mean, it's 720 and the native res is 1920 or for most monitors it is. You'll notice their aim is is really good in box fighting on this res as the up close and personal the player models do look slightly stretched as you can see right here they do look a lot bigger even though it might just be a placebo with all that though you can just imagine how good your mechanics and building can be on this resolution if you do go ahead and give it a try i mean there is a good reason for why most pro players are using 1720 by 1080 this season and even last season too it's definitely a resolution that's going to stick around for quite some time moving on we've got the last one which is 1820 by 1080 this is probably the closest stretched resolution you can get to native and although this will give you a very minor slash slight fps boost it's one of those where it is just slightly stretched and as close as native as you can get and a lot of people are looking for that so i thought i'd chuck this one in too let's now though move on yet again and set up a stretched resolution so step one open up the epic games launcher then go into library then click on these three horizontal dots head into options and inside the install options you firstly want to uncheck fortnite save the world as it's not needed and you'll get five gigabytes of extra storage you can also uncheck the high resolution textures as this will give you a slight fps boost and give you nearly 16 gigabytes of extra storage make sure to uncheck directx 12 shaders as well as we'll be using performance mode and you'll also get extra storage and finally this is personal preference i like to enable or rather keep tick the pre-downloaded stream assets as this setting can not only reduce your loading times but it supposedly can also be boost your performance and lower your ping just don't forget to click apply at the end for step two you want to open up the game then head into the settings tab under video ensure that the windowed mode is on full screen this is super important so you don't get any issues resolution we're not going to change yet keep this on your native one they think you want off frame rate limit you can have on unlimited or you can match your monitors hertz or refresh rate rendering mode you want to change this to performance as this will lower the graphical quality in game and boost your fps graphics are all 
personal preference. Graphics quality, you want to set all of these to the lowest possible, but keep 3D resolution on 100%, but all of these should be on near, low, or off. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you've got NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. I like this on as it does reduce my latency a ton, but if you feel like this is affecting your FPS, you can turn it off. After that, don't forget to apply and close down the game. Step three, there's three methods to get a stretched resolution, but we will be only doing one and two for ease. For method number three, you should check out this tutorial on screen. But for this method, on your desktop, press the Windows key and R. Inside here, paste in the percentage sign local, update and then the percentage sign again. Then press F and find the Fortnite game. Go into saved, config, Windows client. Then you'll find your config file, that's the game user settings file. Now before you go ahead and modify this, right click on it, go into show more options, then properties, and ensure that the read only box has been unchecked right now. After that, you can go ahead and open it up. Once inside here, if you scroll down to near the bottom, you should find two resolution sections right here. You want to go ahead and customize both of these to have matching X and Y values of your desired stretched resolution. You can see I've already done it here with the first one, and then here with the second one. Remember, if you want to revert, you can change these back to native. After you've done that, you can click file and then save. And if you go back to your game user settings, you can go ahead and right click on it, show more options, go into properties, and make sure to actually select the read only this time as this provides prevents Fortnite from changing the settings back to default or native when you do open the game. This essentially locks it in when you do click apply. But do remember, if you want to go back to native, you need to uncheck this right here. After that though, back on your desktop, just right click on it and go into show more options and select the Nvidia control panel. If that doesn't work, go into the Microsoft store and just type it in here and you'll see it. And then you can access it from here. Or if you've got the Nvidia app, inside here on the left hand side, if you go under settings, then scroll down to the very bottom, you'll actually see the Nvidia control panel inside of this and all you have to do is literally open it. Once opened, if you go over to the left hand side under change resolution, inside here make sure your main gaming monitor is selected, make sure you've got the highest refresh rate and then under where it says customize click that button and if you go down at the bottom make sure this is ticked right here and then click create custom resolution and then inside here is where you can actually make your custom resolution and then once you've went through that entire process here is where you can actually select the resolution in itself. If you want to go back you can just scroll down down and select your native resolution. Once you've done that though, head over to adjust desktop size and position. And inside here, to prevent any issues like black bars, select your main game and monitor. Make sure a full screen is selected. I think by default, it's on either aspect ratio or no scaling. Make sure a full screen is selected. After that, make sure the GPU is selected as we are GPU scaling. You'll use display for the other method that I was on about earlier. But for this one, make sure a GPU is selected and override the scaling mode set by games and programs. It's important you select this too. Then finally, you can go back in the resolution page and select your stretched resolution. And now if you open up the game, you now have a stretched resolution.